everybody. Welcome back to motherboards.org. I'm an org Ferris, your host. Now, I get a lot of emails and a lot of questions from people and a lot of crazy suggestions on what high resolution 27 inch monitor they should buy. Now, when I say high resolution, I'm talking 2560 by 1440. I'm not talking about your 1920 by 1080 because those are pretty much like carrot sticks and they've given those things away. But the high resolution monitors have always been pricey. And I just want to go over a couple of things because I've owned a few of them and we've done some research into some of the ones you guys have suggested. So I want to make a couple of comments. First of all, I want to comment about the cat leap. Many of you guys send me emails telling me about how full of shit I am for using these monitors. I'm stupid for spending these money. I should go out and spend the $280 on the cat leap. Well, trust me, I don't want to do that and neither do you. For one thing, cat leap is in Korea. They don't ship from the United States at all. So everything you're getting is coming from Korea, which means there's no warranty, no middleman, nobody to protect you. So yeah, you may invest your original $280 in getting that monitor, but there's an old saying, and there's a reason for this old saying. You get what you pay for. You have no warranty on those monitors. I'm hearing all kinds of rumors about bad pixels. People overclock them, they fail, and then they're stuck with them for months as they're trying to get a replacement. Nobody wants to go through that. Now, there is a new monitor coming out later on this month from a company called Nixius. Now, this company seems to have their shit together. They're going to be shipping from the United States, and they'll be available as of the 21st here in America. And you can also pre-order these monitors currently over at Amazon. Now, why do I think this monitor is going to be a good monitor? Well, it features an S-IPS display panel, which is slightly different than the standard IPS panel, but this monitor is going to be coming to America at $449, full warranty, all the same connections as my Dell monitor, and on-screen display. So this monitor, to me, looks like it's going to be a very, very promising specimen. So far, I've had about six different ones, and I have to say that off the bat, the Dell is by far the number one monitor. Now, I know some people out there originally said when they bought the Dell 27 inches high resolutions that there were some problems with the panels. Yes, there were. HP had the same problems. All of these guys across the board using the same exact, same exact one, fellas, and that is the LG. Now, let's just start right there. So everybody's using the same panel. That means that something's getting lost when them putting the panel into the box and to you. Now, the HP monitor, it really wasn't that bad, but it had absolutely no on-screen display, and I've actually had to RMA three of those in the past 90 days. So right now, HP, I feel needs to pick up their shit in the game and make sure their monitors work. But my Dell, I have to say that overall so far, my Dell is the number one. Now, when this new Nixius monitor comes out, I'm hoping that it has all the same bells and whistles and kicks ass because it's about $300 cheaper. So basically, guys, if you're looking for a 27-inch monitor, right now, I would suggest holding on and waiting till the 21st because when this new monitor comes out, it has all the features and all the stuff that I'm personally looking for in a 27-inch high-resolution panel. Let me see your comments below. And also, if any of you guys out there have bought the Catley before and went through the same shit I've heard other people going through, let us know in your comments below. We always love to hear from you guys. This video is for you to help you make your buying decision on a high-resolution 27-inch monitor. See you guys back here on the channel.